guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Julia, aka Julia Lex. Today I kind of just want to talk about the Stanley Hotel, which I previously mentioned in my last video, which is called 10 Movies You Should Watch During This Halloween Season. Um, yeah, that was my very first video and I am very truly, truly, truly thankful and appreciative to everyone who watched it because, yeah, that was my first video and I was a little bit scared. But today I am here to talk about the Stanley Hotel, um, which was Stephen King's inspiration for The Shining, which then inspired the movie The Shining. So yeah, why not talk about it today and give you guys a little bit of facts, some history, and some cool, cool, um, just some cool stuff. Let's just do this. Let's do this now. All right. So, um, in 1903, F.O. Stanley's wife arrived at Estate Park searching for some fresh mountain air. Um, he was kind of sick from TB, so he needed something to open up his lungs. So, yeah, he was restored his health and he um, just loved it and he vowed to always come back every year. So, since he is a co-inventor of the Stanley Steamer, he he couldn't just stay there, so he had to travel back and forth until he decided, why not build a hotel? Why not make this easier for myself? So um, when building the hotel, he's actually getting a lot of inspiration from the West Coast and all their big, luxurious hotels. Um, so in 1909, where when it actually opened people were freaking out they were like oh my god because they had electricity they had telephone running water and i mean you have to you know i don't know it's just it's crazy because it is basically mountain terrain so to have all of that it was just a one of a kind um yeah so it was um it was a luxurious um stay for all the wealthy people in the 19 1900s so in 1970, the hotel gained recognition and attention for being haunted. Um, although many believed it was just a legend until 1974 when author Stephen King and his wife stayed at the hotel on the last night before it closed down for the winter. So they were alone on that night. Um, they stayed in room 217 where it is said that a woman died in the 1950s. Um, which is crazy. Um, no wonder he wrote the book, right? So um, he witnessed children playing, um, laughing. He heard disembodied voices, some footsteps, and um, yeah, now we have The Shining. So just kind of think about it like, did he actually see everything that he wrote about or is it really just a book? I mean, there's a lot of rumors about this place and all its crazy history that maybe he didn't make it up maybe he actually saw all those things it's pretty creepy also um since it was based on the location it was not filmed there um the only movie that i know to my knowledge that um has been filmed there or partially filmed there is dumb and dumber and Another crazy story about that, um, Jim Carrey actually stayed in room 17. Um, he stayed there and he freaked out. So middle of the night, started freaking out and demanded to ch change um, buildings, to just change rooms. He was just not having it. I probably wouldn't, that's pretty creepy, but I like creepy stuff. So maybe, maybe I would just suck it up and stay there. <laughs> There have been many sightings throughout the hotel, among them F.O. Stanley himself and his wife. There's um, been um, documented that his wife, actually, you can hear her playing and see her playing her piano at times, which is fascinating, to say the least. Uh, just so interesting to me. Also, um, he has been photographed playing pool, so which was one of his favorite things that about the hotel. They had a pool room. So yeah, he actually, you can actually see him there sometimes. Um, yeah, there seems to be a lot of um, other things about there, like children's voices and children playing. So yeah, go online, check it out. YouTube has a lot of cool videos about this. Um, I don't really trust taps and um, What's the other one? Ghost Hunters? 
I don't know, I feel like it's scripted at times, but if you guys like it, and if you think it's interesting, go watch it. I actually did, so, pet my hip grip, but, um, yeah, just go watch it if you're interested. It's very, very fascinating, to say the least. It's amazing that, um, this is going on in these places. So, yeah. Oh, another creepy fact. They actually have their own psychic medium on, the, on location, which is creepy. Oh, and they don't let children under the age of five go on these ghost tours, which happen during the day. And if you're lucky enough, they'll have some during at night. So, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it for me. This is kind of just like a rambling video. It's all over the place, but... I don't know. I just decided to talk about it because I like weird stuff like this. Um, and why not? Why not tell you guys what I know, what I've heard, what I've seen from other YouTube videos, <laughs> which is not very reliable. But I don't know. I thought it would be. I thought it would be fun to just tell you guys and talk about it. Also, um, I already said thank you, but I just want to say thank you again because I appreciate all your support and your love means a lot to me it really does i'm about to cry but it does um also um let me know in the comments would you stay at this place do you want to see more of these weird rambling videos about weird locations that i know of because i know a lot of places like this that i've been personally fascinated with and i'm the type of person that like if I find something and I see something, I try to find out everything about it. And I just, it's a lot of knowledge up in here. Although it seems like it's not. There really is. When it comes to weird stuff like this. Um, so yeah, let me know. Would you stay at this place? If you would, would you stay with me? We can go together. I'll hold your hand. <laughs> yeah. Or you can hold my hand because I'm probably going to be scared to death. Um, yeah, so let me know what you guys want to watch. And like, comment, subscribe. See you later. Peace.